Buttercream frosting is fairly easy to make, but it is not foolproof. Sometimes everything just goes wrong, and you have left with cottage cheese-like buttercream that you cannot possibly use on your perfectly baked goodies. But why is your buttercream grainy, and how to fix it? Buttercream is an emulsion, this means that it is a mixture of fat and liquid, two things that normally would not be together. By whipping them, we force them to coexist. This bond, however, is easily broken, and the oils can separate from the liquids given the right conditions. There are many reasons your buttercream did not work out. The main one is the temperature of the ingredients. Cold butter will not mix evenly with the sugar, and it will create lumps. If you did not sift your powdered sugar, it will also be difficult to dissolve evenly in the butter. Make sure your sugar is always lump-free before using it, as it tends to get humid and clump together. Before getting into the tips, be mindful that maybe you are under-mixing the frosting. Try mixing it a few more minutes at high speed. The difference between grainy and creamy can take a little bit, but it does come eventually in most cases if you did not commit the aforementioned mistakes. If it does not fix itself, try one of the following hacks. 1. Adjust the temperature. If the bowl is too cold, you can wrap a hot towel around it or mix over a double boiler to warm everything up and hopefully melt the butter a little bit more. If it is too hot because the butter you used was melted or runny, or it is summer, mix over an ice bath, or add cold butter instead of room temperature butter. 2. Add melted chocolate. You can also try adding melted chocolate. This will, of course, change the flavor, but it can potentially save the mixture, as chocolate is an emulsifying agent that will help the fat and liquids bond. To do this, start by melting enough chocolate to cover half the amount of butter that is in the mixture. While still mixing, pour into the buttercream. If you find this is not enough chocolate, you can always add some more. If you cannot fix it and there are not enough ingredients for another batch, it is time to bring out the big guns. Grab a strainer and pass the mixture through it. This will separate the liquids from the solid fat that was not able to be emulsified. Grab the liquids and mix them on medium speed for three minutes. Afterward, add the solid fat slowly to make sure that they dissolve and incorporate properly. If you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe.